Hello beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody watching this is staying safe and healthy and if you are one of those individuals who can't practice social distancing because of your job and you have to get out and show up every day such as those in the healthcare field, I just want to say thank you for all that you do. I know times are so uncertain and it's a little bit scary but I'm just hoping together we can all get through this. When I was trying to think of what kind of video to bring you all today in keeping social distancing in mind, I was reading through the comments on my last video, which was a thrifted home decor challenge, and Ellen Martin, I'm gonna call you out, because when I read your comment, a light bulb went off, and I was thinking, yes, this is the video that I need to do this week. So her comment says, one of these days, maybe you can do a shop the house for a Pinterest home decor challenge. I think sometimes we go out and buy things without even rethinking what we actually have to work with at home, and it will help people learn to save money this way. And I absolutely love this idea, one, because I am guilty of being that person who goes out and finds something that I absolutely love just to bring it home and realize that I already have something similar that serves the same type of purpose. And two, so many of us are isolating ourselves inside of our homes, so I thought, why not try this? I've never done anything like this before, nor have I really watched a video like this before, so we are in it together guys I do not know what this is gonna look like essentially my goal and my hope would be that this video would encourage you to look around your house and see how you can repurpose things that you already have instead of having to go out and buy something new I love using Instagram save images that really inspire me and I found this picture from at home in the prairies and I fell in love with it one because it's a beautifully designed space but two when I was looking at a lot of her styling pieces I realized that I have a lot of those things here in my house that I have thrifted over the years. I know looking at this, you might think that it must have been super expensive to design, and obviously I'm not sure what she spent, but my goal is to show you how you can create a very similar look using thrifted pieces. So that's what we're gonna do now. And throughout this video, there might be a thrift flip, there might be some advice on how I like to repurpose the same item. We're gonna be all over the board today, but hopefully at the end of this, it's not a major video fail. So let's get going. Looking at this picture, the things that stuck out were the wall baskets, the candlesticks, the vases, and the end table because I know I have similar thrifted pieces. So I decided to go ahead and go into the guest room using this picture's inspiration and see what we can come up with. but what you can do to change the look of this, change the grasses or the floral that you have in this space. So I'm gonna show you two different options with things that I just have around the house. First of which just being this grass here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, I believe it was about $6, um, $12, but 50% off. So that gives you more of the natural look, but say you wanna switch this out for something a little bit more lively, fresh eucalyptus. This is also from Hobby Lobby. Something like that to add a little bit of greenery to your display. Both faces, this basket, these baskets, and these candlesticks right here were all thrifted and things that I had around the house. And let me know in the comments below what you think of the final look. And then I decided to use a few thrifted accents on this thrifted end table using the same picture as inspiration. So this was a picture submitted to me during my last thrift challenge and I wanted to come back to it because I have additional pieces to add. Okay, looking at this next Pinterest pin, the one thing that stood out to me is this little black end table and it reminded me of a thrift flip that I had not yet shared with you guys, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I had purchased this table a few months ago for $3 and as you can tell, it had been painted before. Initially, I had planned on taking a power washer to try to strip the paint, but let's be real, I ended up getting lazy and just spray painting it myself using a matte black spray paint.
right guys, in the last half of this video, I wanted to show you how you can take one single item and use it in a variety of ways. I'm talking about baskets because I love baskets for decor, but I also use them for trash cans, I can be used for pendant lights, table decor, wall decor, so many different things. And that's why I love thinking outside the box when I go thrifting because an item doesn't have to be used for one single purpose only. So I'm gonna take you around the house and show you all the ways that I'm using baskets in hopes of encouraging you to be able to do the same thing around your house. It's this picture here was submitted to me by one of my Instagram followers and thrifting in my house, I knew I had a very similar basket to share with you. Now I'm gonna share a few different ways baskets can be used throughout your house. There you have it. I hope this video gave you a little bit of motivation on how to reuse the things that you already have around the house. Ella and Martin, thank you so much for the comment. And if anybody else has any suggestions on videos you wanna see me do, drop them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.